intermediate syndrome. This is something that most everybody's going to experience as you start to get good. I see this phase starts to happen after you've broken past all of those beginner mistakes, right? Once you can start launching and landing fairly successfully without making mistakes, that's when you start to enter into that intermediate syndrome. That's when you start to pull a little bit harder on your turns. That's when you start to kind of work your way into those baby wing overs. That's when you start to push flying in badder weather. That's when you start to fly in locations you shouldn't fly in places you shouldn't fly in ways you shouldn't fly now i myself have gone through the intermediate syndrome and it was gnarly it led to two separate crashes one where i flew through a freaking porch yes i'll make a video on that and the second one where i crashed in on the beach with paramotor pilots, with you know flying paramotors, it's a big deal that you manage yourself, that you kind of think about and understand like where are you in your skill set? How much experience do you really have? How much skill do you really have? Like what is too much? I always encourage our students, I always encourage anybody that talks to me to ask for help. You know, ego is a big thing that happens in this form of aviation, I'm sure in most forms of aviation. You start to get good, you start to think you're hot stuff. Even myself, even you know everybody else that I know, you start to build this ego. And it's important that you can set this aside and ask the person next to you who's been flying longer, like, hey man, what do you think of my turns? Hey man, what did you think of that? Hey, should I be doing this? Should I not be doing this? And take your freaking time. There is no need to rush into flying like those you see on the internet. That is a very, very, very difficult thing to do. And if you do it wrong, it can and will bite you in the butt. The reason I'm making this video is because I hate to see people going out and pushing limits way too freaking fast. I mean, look, I understand a wing over and a loop looks super tempting, but there's a reason that we encourage just flying and just building some experience first. There's stuff you don't know. And with this sport especially, you don't know what you don't know. So I encourage you, if you're going to be trying to push limits, if you want to get to that next step, if you want to reach level two, level three, level four, where you know, you're flying like those guys on the internet, seek out extra help. Come through one of my advanced trainings here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Seek out additional help under your instructor. Go to an SIV. Spend more time with people who have more experience. Don't just be that guy that spends all your time flying in the field near your house by yourself who all of a sudden is trying to do wingovers because there's too many times that I see somebody who's doing these maneuvers and doing this stuff just so wrong and near a spot where it's going to get them hurt. Take a chill pill, slow down, work on those foundational skills, energy management, glider control, understanding of stall point collapses, all of those things before you start to push those limits and work up to them slowly. I mean, if you want to get to those things, just slowly work your way up to them and ditch the freaking ego. You can't have that ego. Look, I don't care if you think you're hot stuff. If you're doing something that's going to get yourself hurt, you better listen when I tell you or someone else because you don't want to have that ego blind you of what you're doing wrong and lead to you getting hurt. Put the ego aside, listen and ask for help before you push those limits. Now I'm going to I'm going to give you a quick pitch. I offer a training here in Salt Lake City, Utah called, uh, I call it advanced paramotor training. To me, it's like a level two or three or four training uh, for people who've already started flying. This is like the guy who either needs that confidence boost, who doesn't know how to launch very well, who's super nervous, who just kind of wants that boost of confidence, wants someone to help hold their hand and get them launching. It's also for guys who are looking to get farther down that line. The guys who are wanting to do those light wing overs, who want to fly in formation, who want to do foot drags, who want to go to the mountain flying, who want to do cross country. It's for all of those level two, level three pilots who are looking to kind of progress. This is the only thing I've seen in the industry, uh, excluding SIVs, where like you can actually get help on the next step. You know, in, in in this industry, you have a lot of people offering like beginner level training, but you don't ever have that level two, level three, and that's exactly what this advanced paramotor training is. Come out, spend three to four days with me here in Salt Lake City, Utah, in the mountains, desert craziness of where we are, and let's go do some flying. 
let's go venture up to the top of a mountain. Let me show you what you need to look for as you go to do mountain flying. Let me show you how to land on the top of a mountain. Let me show you how to do the light wing overs, how to do the foot drag, how to navigate the cross country. Take the extra time to spend time with someone who knows more. I myself do this regularly. You too should do this. Seek out that level two, seek out that level three. And if you're interested in just building more skill, learning more and getting better at this sport that we all love, Come through my advanced paramotor training course. I have another one coming up in July, then September and October. If there's more demand, I'll add more classes. Uh, anyways, that is all for now. If you're interested in more information on that, see the link down below. If you are interested in beginner level training, also see the link down below. We do offer that. Uh, and most importantly, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.